Thank you, Madam President. I thank USG De Carlo and DG Grossi for their briefings. It is regrettable that the situation in Ukraine has worsened further since the Council last convened on this matter. An immediate cessation of violence and end to all hostilities are essential. We continue to carefully follow the developments regarding the safety and security of Ukraine's nuclear power reactors and facilities. India attaches the highest importance to ensuring safety and security of nuclear facilities as any accident involving the nuclear facilities may have severe consequences for public health and the environment. India accords the highest priority to the discharge by the IAEA of its safeguards and monitoring activities in accordance with its statute in an effective, non-discriminatory and efficient manner. We have also noted the latest information available with regard to the nuclear power plants and facilities in Ukraine, including today's updates provided by the DG IAEA on the current situation. Madam President, while we are discussing the nuclear dimension of an unfolding conflict, this Council must acknowledge that there is a pressing humanitarian crisis confronting us in, in Ukraine, where safety and security of innocent civilians including several thousand Indian nationals, in particular students, are at stake. We therefore hope that the second round of talks between the two sides contributes to the immediate establishment of a safe humanitarian corridor. As reiterated by my Prime Minister in his conversations with global leaders, including of the Russian Federation and Ukraine, differences must be resolved through sustained dialogue and diplomacy. Commitment to the principles of the UN Charter, to international law, and respect for the sovereignty and territorial integrity of all states are key principles in this regard. I thank you.